case temple complex is a fixed gyro theodolite and there is a model of a theodolite that can be used as a portable one a transit in the temple complex now what is a theodolite a precision instrument or equipment for measuring angles in horizontal and vertical planes used for surveying applications and for star watching the angle of the object the star can be measured with the precision typically to the seconds of an arc the transit rotates the mounted telescope to 360 degrees while the non transit fixed one allows only a semicircle rotation the vertical circle should read 90 degrees when the sight axis is horizontal to 170 degrees when the instrument is turned horizontal this is the circumambulatory procedure we usually follow in all the shiva temples in kerala and probably in all temples in south india that i don't know but in kerala this is the circumambulation we follow 270 degree we move on the right side come back and then go 90 degrees uh, on the left side representing the cosmic angles not the angles on the level earth level ground so the theodolite mounted on a tripadi <laughs> tripadi is translated in english as tripod by a forced centering plate called the triprakapalam tri means divine trik triprak prak is the east so prak kapalam kapala means the east Uh, the hemisphere so the entire word trik prak kapalam is the divine eastern hemisphere so the forced centering plate is the divine eastern hemisphere now it is translated in english as tribrak now the complexity of the optical path of the theodolite is known by the circumambulatory path taken by the devotee in trikur temple the devotee is the optical light path the dioputra dioputra means the son of the divine the son of sons actually the sons of the divine this is the diopter translated into greek and english so the dioputra which is the synonym for the ashwins so it is the, the ashwins or the devotee the dioputra are the optical light paths or the divine prana the monsoon winds which are a regular feature in kerala as a geological geographical special area reported by europeans including the uh, collector of malabar william logan in his malabar manual the cock like work precision precision of the monsoon winds is recorded by many people who came here for the first time so the one seen in the thrukur is the earliest altai muttal instrument and we find that the entire complex acts as a fixed theodolite and there is models for transit telescopes mounting and for water bound versions used by the navigators the phoenicians the measurement of trigonometry trigonometry and triangulation in india is based on the geodesics which we call the chakravalana or the chakravala method which is nowadays famous among the mathematicians because of srinivas ramanujan's calculations and because of this the vastu purusha and kala purusha are integrated in a single instrument vastu purusha is the space and kala purusha is the time time space continuum as an integrated single measuring instrument this remarkable feat is seen in trikur astronomical megalithic observatory which is a real megalithic model of a gyro theodolite probably the only one in the world so far discovered for this huge megalithic equipment the encoders for readouts are 
the equidistant dark and light radial bands called the surya hora and the chandra hora surya hora are the days hours of the sun chandra hora is the night the hours of the moon together they are known as the ahoratra day and night and that is why the ancient people called this the science of the hora hora means the central letters of ahoratra day and night hora ha means the sun band ra means the moon band and if you add this you get to not only hora but also hara the shiva hari the vishnu and hrim the devi mantra all these are included in these two letters in early periods when measurements were done on ground with raju or ropes the system of conducting rope vaibhad by devotees to this temple is reminiscent of the old practice of measurement by raju raju is the rope the temple was in need of raju because they were con conducting lot of surveying with raju before the advent of the theodolite humans measured with raju geometric squares or magic squares which of the srinivasa ramanujam type and various graduated circles or circumferences and semi circles called graphometers to get vertical and horizontal horizontal angles an early stage of such measurement is seen in the temple on top top of the hill a neat magic square is drawn on top of the rock surface and the horizontal axis on earth is carefully chosen by the river on the western part of the hill which is running exactly in the north south direction on the western part of the hill the hill is carefully shaped into a full semi circle where the shiva linga is lodged an in instrument defined polar coordinate which is then transferred to a pre existing coordinate system in the area by different number of control points this must have been a center for mapping surveys of the land as well as for teaching of astrophysics and astronomy and mathematics related to it with precision and students might have approached this center from far and wide to use the equipment for their observation of stars and nebulae in fact on the wall of the temple drawing of a very fairly tall person because at those ancient times the people may be very tall a tall person carrying a long equipment probably his telescope is seen ascending the steps of the temple that is drawn there another very important point we have to consider is that any cave builder any person who does undergo uh, who does underground tunneling work mining etc needs a north south reference but he doesn't have an astronomical star sight underground when a conduit passes under a river or when a passage is mined underneath a mountain for a cave dweller one has to use a gyro theodolite which can be taken to the foot of the shaft as well to the surface both and this with this instrument the direction of tunneling is correctly assessed by the cave builders a normal theodolite with an attachment that contains a gyroscope sends rotations of earth and from that alignments of the meridian and what is a meridian meridian is the plane that contain both the axis of the earth's rotation and the observer the intersection of meridian with the horizontal contain the true north south geographic reference bearing required a gyro theodolite functions both at the equator and in the two hemispheres but at the pole this is not possible only star sight is required there because of the special position of the earth when someone needs an extra precision the night observation of star clusters and the corrections by a theodolite observation will be sufficient or even a gyro theodolite alone so by, that is why bija ganita and drug ganita were mentioned in all the old astronomical texts so this is not a new practice in india <laughs> even 
by the megalithic people this was being done so to say that this developed in 14th century 16th century is only our ignorance in neolithic light boxes five of which are described in great britain as proof of megalithic astronomic knowledge of britain and in egyptian pyramids etc the accuracy accuracy of the neolithic builder races have been well documented rock art petroglyphs were identified in chaco canyon of ansasi indians fossilized antikythera antikythera astrolabes were discovered from a shipwreck in europe and the sophisticated instrument was that of second century bc who gave that to the wrecked ship nobody knows but it was identified in the background of this the new discovery that trikur temple functions as a fixed gyro theodolite and has a transit theodolite within must be considered as a historical event in the scientific past of india and in the past history of the world itself the purpose of such a megalithic astronomic center is to position astronomical bodies with respect to celestial spheres with reference to observers position on the surface of earth the view that all the megalithic sites are burial grounds and tombs has been discarded by the modern thinkers the branch of archaeo astronomy has taken a few giant leaps in the present century the fact that all the megalithic complexes in europe are along the mediterranean and atlantic coastline indicate that many of them are built by sea going tribes of the world and history tells us india was one among the foremost and first seafarers and europe was the last to enter that field of sea trade the large megalithic astronomical structure at trikur reveals the specialization in skills like the vastu the building and engineering skills and also in astrophysics astronomy mathematics a system of cooperation of large communal workforce to finish such grand scale project ability to compute and calculate and to complete such a complex over several thousands of years of sustained generations probably for millennia yet together no one can build such a huge complex within one or two generations alone the megalithic yard of india which is 3 is to 4 is to 5 as a common unit of measurement is used here also the precision of equinox is uh, 20000 525920 years which is about 360 degrees uh, with 12 houses in the zodiac that means each rashi or each each uh, house has 200 2160 each a new sign appear on horizon which is harijam harijam means that one which is derived from hari horizon is harijam in india each 2160 years or 30 degree and we get the 2 into 2160 and 12 into 360 both are 4320 and 4320 years is the kali yuga number of our yuga ganida india's yuga ganida to move 1 degree on the harijam with this if you take this as a unit to move 1 degree on the harijam 72 years are needed this yuga cycle due to synchronicity between speed of earth's rotation around the sun and rotational speed of galaxy the squares used in vastu purusha as 7 into 7 8 into 8 9 into 9 9 etc in vastu we use like that no and so on are for a squared earth chaturashri karana of the earth that is the squared earth for construction purposes on earth and for easy understanding for people on the earth such chatura are parts of an endless magical square system the 8 into 9 square that is the 72 small squares which is given in the nana chaturanga or the leela as well as in the sharada tilaka tantra 
used in the musical construction of Malagartha musical scale system. All these things I have explained so many times, these mathematical importance are measurements of the Kundalini power, the Prana power and such a Chadura is drawn over the hilltop as a megalithic art which was an earlier method of measuring the earth by Sulba Sutra period and in the Vedic period. All these point to the fact that the structure had been in use continuously for several millennia. But what baffles the observer is the presence of several megalithic reliefs of dinosaurs all over the hill. Are we standing on a graveyard of dinosaurs? that was formed in Deccan drop about 65.5 million years ago or are these only the scriptures or the sculptures made by a very careful sculptor who had the collective consciousness and collective wisdom of all his ancestors with that reverie the obse observer climbs down the steps of this great art and science Mem memorial work, great memorial work of the ancestors.